7 up front tonight, we're taking a closer look at the recent surge in COVID cases on Michigan's college campuses. Wayne State University President M. Roy Wilson joining us tonight. President Wilson, so happy to have you with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, first, let's talk about how Wayne State is faring through this surge in COVID-19 numbers. Yeah, we're very fortunate in uh, April, April and May timeframe, this whole area uh, in Detroit was uh, pretty hard hit and Wayne State was also hard hit. Uh, but fortunately, the area is doing much better than some other areas of the state right now. And Wayne State is actually doing very well. We uh, uh, just had this past week, we had 16 cases, which is the highest that we've had ever on the uh, on our campus uh, the previous was only about 10 but our seven day average is only in the vicinity of uh, two cases um, which is you know very 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 good our uh, percent positivity continues to be low uh, we've had no we've only had one cluster since uh, the beginning and um, uh, we're, we're since the beginning, since when we started tracking it. And, and last week, we didn't have any clusters. And so we're doing well, but we're, we're kind of bucking the trend right now because, um, you know, certainly we don't want to make it seem like, you know, we're crowing about our achievements because there are a lot of things that we just don't control. And uh, next week or the week after, things can go south very, very quickly. And very, we're very cognizant of that. Do you have a sense of how staff and students are feeling? Are people worried, nervous right now? Well, I just had um, a large town hall today uh, with uh, faculty and uh, mainly students. And by and large, I mean, I, I think people are realistic. Uh, they know that we're doing very well, uh, but they also see uh, neighboring universities that are not doing as well. And they understand that it's, you know, partly it it's might be based on on the vigilance with which we're taking uh, precautions and wearing masks and social distancing. But also, as I just mentioned, there are a lot of things that we don't control. And, and certainly, I think everybody is aware that things could go pretty uh, uh, badly uh, very quickly. We, we've experienced it. I mean, we, we had two deaths um, you know, earlier uh, in April timeframe. And mm. so we uh, don't take this lightly at all. Well, we know Wayne State is working with even Michigan State University, the University of Michigan, and the state of Michigan on vaccine efforts. How's that coming? Well, there are a lot of um, different studies that are going on. Yeah. You know, between the three, the three universities you mentioned, we make up what's called the University Research Corridor. And about 95% of the research that happens in the uh, state universities are uh, performed by the members of the research corridor. And so we've got about, oh, at least 10 uh, different major studies that uh, are going on at this current time uh, between the three universities. And we also have a lot of innovative technologies that are under study uh, that should be able to uh, help with respect to either diagnosis or treatment or uh, some other aspect of COVID-19. <clears throat> You know, President Wilson, we see college football getting started again throughout various conferences, uh, but the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, that's yours at Wayne State, has not changed the decision that was made in August to halt. Talk about that. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, we're Division Two, not Division One, and uh, like Michigan and Michigan State, and we don't have the capacity to do testing uniformly at, at all the universities. Uh, at the same level as many of the well-funded Division I schools. Uh, Wayne State is fortunate in that we, you know, we have got a large medical school, we've got um, a large uh, health uh, enterprise here, and we're able to do as many testing as, uh, as we want. Um, but that's not the case with all of the universities in the uh, GLIAC. And so, uh, personally, we didn't feel very comfortable in going out on the football field uh, and not knowing what the status of other teams might be with respect to their testing and with respect to the protocols that they had in place. Uh, but I think because, you know, we are division two and there really isn't as much uh, at stake from a monetary standpoint 
at some of the Division uh, One schools. For us, it, it, it was a pretty easy decision to defer until uh, after January. It's the safest thing to do. All right, President Wilson, we certainly appreciate you uh, being with us and talking about this. Um, it ultimately comes down to health, safety, and even dollars and cents in some instances. And so thank you so much. We look forward to talking to you again in the future. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right, Alan.